Hi everybody, nice to see you. I am Julie Zipper and I'm a licensed spiritual counselor and teacher, but I haven't always been that. Once upon a time I was an actress living in New York City, having a lot of good successes, having a lot of fun, and completely miserable with my life. <laughs> and out of that misery came an impulse to get real with myself and to discover a deeper part of myself. And what that happened to be for me was meditation and the spiritual path that led me to where I am today and led me to develop many classes on self-awareness, on spiritual practices, one of them being the 40-day meditation journey, which I'm going to tell you about at the end of this video. But first, let me go back to this miserable Julie that I experienced in my 20s. So here I was, I had it all. Um, according to life, I had all the ingredients for happiness and contentment. I had a, a boyfriend that eventually became a husband. I had a great group of friends. I was living in one of the best cities in the world. And I was having a lot of good success with a career that oftentimes people don't get to experience. And yet there was such a hollowness inside me. There was something within me that just knew there was something else to life. There was something more. This wasn't it. And I didn't know what that meant. But I continued to sink, sink deeper and deeper into that hole of discontent. Until finally, I just said, Julie, you got to do something. You got to do something. You have to um, show up for yourself and stop expecting the outside world to do it for you because it's not. So what came to me was to show up every morning for a spiritual practice didn't know what that was going to mean or look like. And I tried meditation, by the way, and it hadn't worked for me. So I decided to do a gratitude prayer every day. I think it was on Oprah or something like that. So I showed up at the same time every morning in the same space, kind of made it a ritual and did this gratitude prayer. And maybe it helped a little bit. And then the days went on and the weeks went on and it helped a little bit more. And then one day I showed up and I felt totally different in this gratitude prayer. There was something new. And I paused to take in a breath. And what happened is pretty indescribable, but I'll try. I feel like I fell into pure peace. That suddenly there was no such thing as time. There were no words. There were no thoughts. There was no pit in my stomach of unworthiness. I just felt pure peace. And then, I don't know how long I sat there, but eventually, like, this thought came across my forehead like a little ticker tape. This is meditation! And as soon as I had that thought, I was brought out of that feeling tone. Um, but I knew it. That's the space of pure awareness that I've read about, that I've heard people talk about. And then I was hooked. I knew what I was looking for. I knew what I wanted to show up for every day. And I had a new vision for my life, what... I wanted to explore, the, the adventure I was ready to go on. And so I continued to show up every day for years and to learn different meditation techniques, to learn more of mindfulness, um, of this thing called awareness of who I really am, that I'm not my thoughts, that I'm not my story, I'm not what my parents say about me, I'm not what people say about me, that I'm something greater and that we all are that and we're all connected in that. And so as I learned these things, I got really excited to share this with others. And so eventually I created the 40 day meditation journey. And this is a seven week class where each week we meet once a week and each week we go over a different meditation technique because there are many and they're all fun, says me. <laughs> and eventually you'll find your path. We go over different mindfulness um, principles uh, such as non-judgment, non-attachment, non-identification, really knowing that you, you're really not your thoughts about yourself and that you're really not your story, your beliefs, you're not even your feelings, that you're something greater and that you can learn to, to govern your life from that space instead of being caught up in the winds of your thoughts all the time on this roller coaster ride, right? That's no fun. Or to think that the economy is the source of your good or your lover is the source of your worth or your boss is the source of your creative expression. Baloney! You're it. You are it. You got everything that you need to find that happiness and to express that happiness in your life and to have a fulfillment that isn't 
um, dependent on any outside source, but that is with you every single day of your life. So, if you'd like to learn more, you can go to my website, www.juliezipper.com, and I hope to see you there for the journey at some point in time. And if not, I just really invite you to dive right in to that practice for yourself, to, to find an awareness practice that works for you, and to devote yourself to it completely. You will not regret it. I wish you a lot of peace and joy, and I wish you the awareness of who you are today.